you, you, you'll be, this brings it to another level. So Joel Sherman Here we go. has a story in the New York Post talking about the Astros and, you know, some things that they, they, they have done or could have done and, and what Manfred has to do. Check this paragraph out. To me, this is a game changer. But this is a blight, writes Joel, and it is a blight that the commissioner's office should do all within its power to make sure it does not occur again. And it would be folly to think that teams are going to keep trying to push the limits. In recent days, I have had scouts and executives talk to me about a variety of methods they think have been or could be employed, such as realistic-looking electronic bandage placed on a player's body that buzzes in real time to signal what's coming. Mm -hmm. One buzz for a fastball, for example, if the surveillance determines what type of pitch is coming. One person I spoke to has ties to the Astros and said he has already had spoken to the MLB investigators. If it's going even beyond the banging of the garbage can, you almost have to... The, the suspensions pee? have to be so... What do you do? How big? I, I mean, it's almost... You almost could ban people from baseball. I mean, it's to that level, it's right? It's to that level. I mean, if, you're, if somebody has, like, a, a band around their arm that, that buzzes when it's a fastball... I mean that that's beyond cheating, man. No, that's no no, it's exactly cheating. It's not it's beyond any level of gamesmanship. Right. It's fully into you are out and out. You have a foolproof plan to cheat. It's not right. cheating. No, no, it is. So the problem is we're not talking about one player, one person. Like Pete Rose, you know, you throw him out of baseball. You know, with the uh, the Black Sox scandal, the eight guys that participated in throwing the game, you get rid of them. What do you do to the entire organization? I don't you know. can't suspend. Do you suspend? All right, let's see you find out that every batter participated in this. Every offensive player participated in this. I mean, are you going to fire an entire team? Are you going to suspend an entire team? Let me throw this at you, all right? Or is it too harsh? Be honest. Can you, if, if you know that Jim Crane was totally complicit and knowledgeable of everything going on, do you pull a Donald Sterling and make him sell the team? All right, let's say I, I agree with you. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's not enough in the sense of all the other people that participated in that. All right, so he gets punished selling the team. Right, and then you Hinch, suspend Lunau and Hinch. Uh, Lunau, Hinch, I mean, could you ban them from base? If you're going to make the owner sell the team, that means you're throwing him out of the game. Right. Can you give a lifetime ban to the manager and the, and the general manager? All right, then let's say you say, oh, yeah, you got to do that. Then what do you do to the players? Do you ban them? Do you suspend them for a couple of years? Michael, I think the easier thing to do might be to just make them vacate the title. Nah, I don't think that works. I don't think it works. They it still want it. doesn't work. Well, it has to be it. one bit. That has to be one piece of it. But they want it. It can't count anymore, though, if the cheating's this bad. Well, they want it, but, but think about what you just said. They want it, but look at the lengths they went to win it. So if you're admitting that we have to punish them because they took such an advantage of the fans, the game, the opposition... The positive byproduct of the cheating was to win the championship. Yes, has they to wanted to win money, but they benefited from that and won the championship. So that has to now go away. Has to. Then, yeah, but you can't erase people's memory. All right, but that's but why. That's, that's, but that's fine. Not, but that's fine. That's why it's not the only thing. And then the banishment of the manager and the general manager and having those players that participated in some way, shape, or form either get banned, get suspended for a year, or fined severely because not everybody that participated has to go at the same level as the guys that put it together. Now, again, what happens if this investigation shows that Carlos Beltran was indeed somebody that was not only on board with this but actually invented it with Cora and Hinch? What do you do with them? It's tough. I, I, I do not want to yeah. be in Rob Manfred's shoes. But I, I think whatever his shoes are, Michael, he has to err on the side of over-punishment rather than under-punishment. You can live with being too harsh. But if you're too lenient, it opens the door for the teams that are still doing it to continue to do it. And teams that if they're desperate to try to do it, you have to not just punish the Astros, you have to come up with a way in which nobody would even think of ever doing this again. Michael K. 